Ever wonder which cars are in it for the long haul? Well, rev up your curiosity because we're about to embark on a journey through the world of the 10 longest lasting cars on the road. I'm your host, Kevin, and we're about to uncover the secrets behind these road warriors. Stick around till the end. You won't want to miss the surprise at number one. Buckle up and let's hit the road to explore the lasting power of these impressive cars. Number 10, Toyota Prius. The Toyota Prius used to be known as a slow, kind of nerdy car that sips gas and lasts a long time. But guess what? In 2023, they've given it a whole new look and some extra oomph under the hood. The Toyota Prius has been in production since 1997 and is currently in its fifth generation. It's still super fuel efficient, getting over 50 miles per gallon, and the starting price is still affordable. Even with these changes, the Prius is still keeping its reputation for being a reliable car that saves on gas. The only downsides are that it has a smaller back seat, less cargo space, and a smaller rear window. But hey, unless Toyota accidentally messed something up, it's still a car that will last a long time and help you save on gas. And now it's even more fun to drive and look at. Number nine, Toyota Camry. The Toyota Camry is one of those cars that can go the distance without much talk. This midsize sedan, just like its smaller buddy, the Corolla, likes to keep things simple rather than chasing the newest trends. But don't let that fool you. It's built well to give you a comfy ride, save on gas, and these days even bring a bit of fun to your drive. The Toyota Camry is the sixth year of production for this generation and has been around since 1991. It might not boast the fanciest interior plastics, the biggest trunk, or the flashiest infotainment graphics. And starting at $26,000, it's not the cheapest mid-size sedan on the block. However, whether you go for the budget-friendly four-cylinder, the smooth V6, or the fuel-efficient hybrid, you can bet that this ride will stick around for a good couple of decades as long as you give it the care it deserves and a bit of good luck. Number eight, Lexus ES. If you're after a fancy, long-lasting car that stays modern, you might want to shell out for the Lexus ES. The Lexus ES has been around since 1989, and the 2023 model is the seventh generation. The Lexus ES, a fancy mid-size car, is super comfy and costs less to start with compared to fancy cars like Audi A6 and Mercedes-Benz E-Class. Why? It's a Toyota Camry underneath, but with cooler looks and fancy inside stuff. It starts at $42,000, but you get more cool stuff as standard compared to the Chrysler. The ES, like lots of cars that go the distance, comes in a gas electric hybrid version. We like this one because it gets a solid 44 miles per gallon in mixed driving, and Lexus puts in the effort to keep the cabin quiet. Of course, some folks might prefer rolling with the smooth 3.5 liter V6 or the base four-cylinder engines all-wheel drive system for the next couple of decades. The ES's inside is comfy compared to others in its group. The engines run super smooth and quiet, and the ride is nice and calm. It's not a car for folks who enjoy driving fast. But if you're into saving gas, the 300 horsepower hybrid got 45 miles per gallon on a 75 miles per hour highway test. Number seven, Mazda MX-5 Miata. Mazda made the first Miata over 30 years ago to be Japan's fun and reliable take on European roadsters. The Mazda MX-5 Miata has been around since 1989 and is part of the fourth generation. The Mazda MX-5 Miata is more than just a car, it's a total icon. This cool convertible sports car shook things up back in 1989 and has been getting even better ever since. With improved performance and handling, it's now one of the most fun rides on the road. And from what we can tell, it'll stay that way for a long time. This two-seater Miata convertible got a redesign in 2016 and they tweaked the engine in 2019 for more power. It's not for everyone, not everyone fits, and you can find more powerful cars for the MX-5's is $28,000 starting price. But if you're all about that pure joy of driving, as the saying goes, Miata is always the answer. And that's true even when you're asking about cars that last the longest. Number six, Subaru Legacy. Hopping over to mid-size rides, the 2023 Subaru Legacy doesn't break the bank, 
starting at $24,000, just a smidge more than the Compaq Civic. The Legacy has been in production since 1989, and the 2023 model is the seventh generation of the car. This roomy, cozy, all-wheel drive family car is built for the long haul. Under the hood, the Legacy rocks a 182 horsepower engine that's been cruising along without much change for over a decade, with no tweaks since 2020. Subaru's had plenty of time to smooth out any wrinkles. Its all-wheel drive setup is like a trusty sidekick, especially during chilly winters. It might not be as thrilling as a Corolla, but it sure beats the excitement of unexpected breakdowns. Number five, Hyundai Sonata. The 2023 Hyundai Sonata is a cool mid-size sedan. It's famous for having a good mix of low prices and fancy style and comfort. But if you go for one of its trusted powertrains, the basic 2.5 liter four cylinder or the gas electric hybrid, the Sonata can stick around for a long time. The 2023 Hyundai Sonata is three years into its eighth generation, which was introduced in 1985. We like the hybrid one. If you want a car that won't give up easily, you'll love that the Sonata Hybrid can go up to 52 miles per gallon in different driving situations, and it keeps doing that for many years. It can save you lots of money every year compared to the regular Sonata that only gets 31 miles per gallon, especially if you're often driving in stop and go traffic where the hybrid is super useful. Plus, there's a 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, which means the most important parts of the car will keep going for at least that long. But it's not the sportiest when it comes to steering and handling. The basic Sonata starts at $25,000 and the hybrid one is priced at $28,000. Number four, Honda Accord. Just like how you might choose between a Civic and a Corolla. Deciding between the 2023 Honda Accord and the Toyota Camry boils down to different car styles. Honda has been manufacturing the Accord since 1976. Honda went for a sharp driving experience and a fancy interior, while Toyota aimed for easy comfort and simple mechanics. Both these medium-sized cars should stick around for a while. The new Accord, which got a makeover, still uses its four-cylinder and hybrid engines from before. Honda now suggests the basic gas-only engine for those looking for value, and the fancier trims are only available as hybrids. We go for the hybrid if your budget allows. Hybrids tend to last long, and who wouldn't want to save on gas money? Plus, the hybrid Accord drives even better. The gas Accord starts at $27,000, but the more decked out Accord Hybrid begins at $31,000. Number three, Honda Civic. Sometimes people talk about the Toyota Corolla and Honda Civic together. It makes sense because they're both Japanese compact cars that have been around for a long time and are known for being reliable, but you know, they're kind of different. Imagine you're standing in front of a sleek Toyota Corolla and a sporty Honda Civic. The Honda Civic has been around since 1972 when it was first introduced in Japan. The 2023 Honda Civic is the 11th generation of the car, which has been in production since 2021. The Civic has always been a small car designed to make driving fun. It's made to be a car that you'll enjoy having for a long time. On the other hand, the Corolla is cheaper, but not as lively. Even the basic Honda Civic, which costs over $23,000, has sharp handling, a fancy dashboard, and a big back seat compared to other cars its size. It's not the kind of small car that suddenly feels too small if your family gets bigger, so you get to enjoy it for a long time. Our favorite Civics to drive are the fancier ones with turbocharged engines, but even the simpler 2.0 liter 158 horsepower engine on the basic models might last even longer. Number two, Toyota Corolla. The Toyota Corolla is a small car known worldwide for hanging around a lot. In the 1990s, many of them moved from the US to poorer countries, where they worked hard in tough conditions. The Toyota Corolla has been in production since 1966 and has sold more than 50 million models globally. Now, let's talk about the 2023 Corolla. 
It's a pretty simple car. It comes with modern safety and tech stuff, but its basic engine is a 2.0 liter non-turbo four cylinder that Toyota started making in 2019, and they haven't changed it since. You can also get the Corolla with a gas electric hybrid engine, like the one in Toyota's famous Prius. The Corolla isn't the car with the best gas mileage, especially if it's not the hybrid version. The coolest handling, the fastest or quietest speed, or the fanciest interior. But it's a comfy, good sedan that'll keep running for a long time. And at almost $22,000, it's the cheapest, long-lasting car on our list. Number one, Chrysler 300. Chrysler hasn't been in the same league as Honda and Toyota when it comes to making cars that last a super long time. The Chrysler 300 made its debut in 1955. However, the Chrysler 300 has built up a good rep for being reliable. It's been around for over 10 years without big mechanical changes. This big sedan starts at $35,000. It's got strong V6 and V8 engines, comfy seats, and surprisingly good handling. It's like a more budget-friendly option compared to those fancy luxury cars. The 300 might not have all the latest tech or the fanciest interior like a brand new model. Also, its crash test scores aren't topping the charts anymore. But here's the cool part. Unlike those super modern luxury cars, there's less stuff in the 300 that could give you a crazy expensive repair bill a decade or two down the road. These are powerful cars that have stood the test of time. Ever wonder the opposite? Which cars were produced with massive safety issues? There is even one car with hand warmers on the back windshield to keep your hands warm while pushing it. Seriously, check out our video cars with major red flags on the screen now.